Will the U.S. allow Ukraine to strike Russian soil and push the world into a World War III scenario like never before? Let us examine one weapon, Russian Tsar Bomba and his devastating capabilities should there be a miscalculation at some point pushing either Russia, the U.S. or Ukraine escalate current soaring tensions over the Ukraine-Russian war. What is the Russian Tsar Bomba? The Russian Tsar Bomba, officially designated RDS-220 and often referred to as the King of Bombs, stands as a monumental symbol of the intense Cold War rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. This immense nuclear device was the product of a period characterized by fierce competition, mutual suspicion, and the relentless pursuit of military superiority. As the Russian-Ukrainian war in 2024 teeters on the brink of escalating into a global conflict, Understanding the origins and implications of the Tsar Bomba provides a sobering reminder of the destructive capabilities that nations possess and the historical tensions that continue to shape contemporary geopolitical landscapes. The genesis of the Tsar Bomba can be traced back to the early 1950s, a time when the Cold War had firmly entrenched itself as a global struggle for ideological, political, and military dominance. The United States, having demonstrated its nuclear prowess with the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, quickly became the benchmark for military power. The Soviet Union, under the leadership of Joseph Stalin, recognized the need to not only match but potentially surpass American nuclear capabilities to ensure its own security and bolster its standing on the world stage. In the immediate aftermath of World War II, the Soviet Union faced significant challenges in developing its own nuclear arsenal. However, with a combination of espionage, scientific ingenuity, and intense governmental focus, the USSR successfully detonated its first atomic bomb in 1949. This event shattered the United States' nuclear monopoly and marked the beginning of an accelerating arms race. Both superpowers embarked on a frenzied path of nuclear development, each test and technological breakthrough feeding into a cycle of escalation. By the mid-1950s, the advent of thermonuclear weapons, vastly more powerful than the atomic bombs used during World War II, redefined the stakes of this competition. The United States tested its first hydrogen bomb in 1952, followed closely by the Soviet Union in 1953. These tests underscored the catastrophic potential of thermonuclear weapons, capable of annihilating entire cities and fundamentally altering the nature of warfare. It was within this context of escalating nuclear brinkmanship that the Soviet leadership, now under Nikita Khrushchev following Stalin's death, conceived of the Tsar Bomba. This device was envisioned not merely as a weapon, but as a clear and unequivocal demonstration of Soviet technological and military might, the decision to develop such a colossal bomb was driven by a combination of factors, including the desire to intimidate the United States and its NATO allies, reinforce Soviet prestige, and assert the USSR's dominance in the global arena. The Tsar Bomba project commenced in earnest in 1956, drawing upon the expertise of the Soviet Union's leading scientists and engineers. The design of the bomb was overseen by Andrei Sakharov, a physicist who would later become renowned for his advocacy of civil liberties and opposition to nuclear proliferation. The bomb's design incorporated a three-stage thermonuclear configuration, which theoretically allowed for almost unlimited explosive yield. The decision was made to cap the bomb's yield at 50 megatons, still the largest ever detonated, to mitigate the risks of radioactive fallout and structural damage to the testing aircraft. The bomb's detonation was scheduled for October 30, 1961, at the remote Novaya Zemlya archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. On that day, a specially modified 295 bomber took off carrying the Tsar Bomba, which was nicknamed Even. The bomb was dropped from an altitude of 10,500 meters with a parachute deployment to slow its descent and allow the bomber sufficient time to escape the blast radius. When the Tsar Bomba detonated at an altitude of 4,000 meters, the explosion was unimaginably powerful. The fireball reached a diameter of 8 kilometers, and the resultant mushroom cloud soared to an altitude of 64 kilometers. The shockwave from the explosion circled the globe multiple times, and the seismic wave registered a magnitude of 5.0 on the Richter scale. The immediate and long-term consequences of the Tsar Bomba test were profound. The sheer scale of the explosion sent a stark message to the world about the devastating capabilities of nuclear weapons. The test did not immediately alter the strategic balance of power. Both the United States and the Soviet Union already possessed more than enough nuclear firepower to destroy each other many times over. However, it reinforced the notion that the arms race had reached terrifying new heights and that any further escalation could potentially lead to global annihilation. In the years following the Tsar Bomba test, the superpowers continued to develop and refine their nuclear arsenals. Although they refrained from building devices of such immense yield, the Partial Test Ban Treaty of 1963, which prohibited atmospheric nuclear tests, was in part a response to the shockwaves, both literal and figurative, created by the Tsar Bomba.
But before we continue, if you're enjoying this briefing, please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded. Thank you. Let's get going. This treaty represented a modest step towards controlling the arms race, although underground testing and the development of increasingly sophisticated delivery systems continued unabated. Fast forward to the contemporary era, the legacy of the Tsar Bomba remains a potent symbol of the dangers of unchecked military rivalry. As the Russian-Ukrainian conflict of 2024 threatens to escalate into a broader war, the specter of nuclear confrontation looms large. The roots of the current conflict are deeply intertwined with historical grievances, regional ambitions, and the strategic calculations of global powers. Russia's assertive stance in Ukraine, driven by a combination of geopolitical strategy and domestic considerations, has elicited strong reactions from NATO and the United States. The situation is reminiscent of the Cold War dynamics that gave birth to the Tsar Bomba, underscoring how historical patterns of rivalry and competition continue to shape the present. The risk of nuclear escalation in the current conflict cannot be dismissed lightly. Both Russia and the United States maintain extensive nuclear arsenals, and any miscalculation or unintended escalation could have catastrophic consequences. The lessons of the Tsar Bomba, the immense destructive power of nuclear weapons and the thin line between demonstration and devastation, are more relevant than ever. The existence of such weapons imposes a grave responsibility on all nations to pursue diplomatic solutions, exercise restraint, and work towards arms control agreements that can reduce the likelihood of nuclear conflict. In the broader context of international relations, the history of the Tsar Bomba serves as a stark reminder of the need for vigilance, diplomacy, and a commitment to peace. The Cold War arms race was driven by a combination of fear, ambition, and mutual distrust. Today, similar dynamics can be seen in various geopolitical flashpoints around the world. The challenge for contemporary leaders is to navigate these complex situations with a clear understanding of the past, a commitment to avoiding the mistakes of previous generations, and a recognition of the profound consequences that nuclear weapons entail. The Tsar Bomba stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the capacity for technological advancement, but also as a sobering symbol of the destructive potential that such advancements can bring. As the world faces new and evolving threats, the lessons of the past, embodied in the history of the Tsar Bomba, must inform the actions and decisions of the present. The pursuit of security, stability, and peace in the nuclear age requires a delicate balance of strength and diplomacy, guided by the recognition of our shared humanity and the desire to avoid repeating the most perilous chapters of history. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.